There are many people living in this world with an irrational fear of the ocean. But if your reasoning starts with the bobbit worm, then we will accept, respect, and protect your reasoning. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. Because the bobbit worm is just one of many deep sea creatures that make me question life itself. Like, like what are we even talking about here? Like, these worms have a bite that can cut their prey in half. And if that doesn't work, their bite can also stun their prey. They can grow to 10 feet long, and in some cases, they're venomous. Yeah. These worms have done is mastered the art of ambushing. Most of us can agree that the key to a good ambush attack is patience. And bobbit worms have plenty of patience. They can sit for hours just waiting for a little poor fish to slither on by and then boom, chop chop. Honey, we're having sushi tonight. Fresh sushi at that. For smaller prey, slicing them into pieces is fairly easy for a bobbit worm. But for the larger prey, they do have to use different tactics. Bobbit worms can inject a toxin into their prey that can either stun them or end them. Right there. So once that larger prey is stunned, they can attack them, eat them, do whatever they want to them accordingly. The mandibles are these sharp points that take care of chopping and slicing while their insides do the rest of the work. Bobbit worms are nocturnal hunters with these antennas on their face that are filled with sensory organs. These organs help them find prey when their eyes can't. So for their prey, there's really no time in the day where they're safe. Did I mention that bobbit worms can grow to 10 feet long? Worms have segments, detachable segments, and as they grow, so do the segments grow. Kind of like lizard tails, they can detach their segments to evade predators. But unlike lizard tails, not only will they regrow their segments, but that detached segment will regrow an identical version of itself. Basically, if you cut a bobbit worm in half, you'll just end up with two bobbit worms, eventually. So what we have here is a 10 foot long, venomous, indestructible worm that chops its prey in half and stuns them. But lucky for us, bobbit worms live about 110 feet deep on the ocean floor. This is just one of many deep sea creatures that make me question life itself. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe for part one, two, three, four, five, however many, because there is a million deep sea creatures that make me question life itself. As always, guys, peace and love, baby.